Welcome to the woods. It's a lovely day outside. It's March something 6th, I think. And I decided to take a break from the world and get outside because it's so lovely. Most of the snow has melted, which means no danger of sliding around on the ice and falling on my ass or on my face and breaking something, which is great. I, I, I have a feeling that would be very uncomfortable. Just being outside in nature, I think it's a good idea these days, if you can, obviously. Not everyone can at the moment because the world has gone crazy, like even crazier than it already has the past couple of years, which is kind of insane. Then again, I think we all have gone a little bonkers at times, being that much isolated. So, eh, not necessarily the best idea in the world I've ever had, but you can't do anything about the past. What you can do is focus on the present and the future. And fingers crossed it goes well. I really hope so. I found a couple of houses that I'm gonna go look at and I don't know but I have a feeling one of them might actually be my new house but I don't know after all I haven't seen it only on pictures and read a little bit about it and you know it's a, it's a big decision it's a lot of money I mean it's a house Will one of those two houses become my new house? I don't know. I really hope so. I have very high hopes for one of them. I have hopes for the other one too, but not as high ones, I guess you could say. I just wanted to be outside in fresh air, beautiful sun. Currently I'm baking at home, so I can't stay out here all day. And also I didn't bring anything to eat or drink, so definitely cannot stay outside all day. I've come to realize that I'm not in the best shape in, in my life, so going for a walk every now and then is a good idea. I just went up a hill and I didn't want to talk to you while I was doing that because you did not need to hear all that breathing. Because that is how bad of a shape I'm in. I need to work on that.
This is a 3000 piece puzzle from Ravensburger and the title is... Not here. Is... Oh, focus. There we go. Oceania. Oceania? Is that how you say it? I don't know. But it's a pretty one with a lot of details. Not quite sure how I will end up you know, sorting the pieces. I will definitely sort out the edge pieces and maybe that detail, those two things, maybe the green down here, I don't know. We'll see. I've done it before and I will do it again because When I've done this one before, I've not put the pieces in a plastic bag, so sure, it's easy, but in a case of me moving, God, I really hope I find the house I'm gonna buy soon because I'm very, very ready for it. But anyway, I mean, just traveling with this might not be the smartest, so I want to do it to make sure I have all the pieces and then I will put it in plastic bags before I feel ready to move with the puzzle. I sorted out all the edge pieces and that took a while. Not surprisingly really, considering it was 300 pieces. And I sorted it in three different boxes and the edge pieces. And I mean, that's one of the beauty of having multiple puzzles. You can use the lids of the boxes, other boxes, to put stuff in. I finished the edge. Kind of. I mean, one, <laughs> two, three, four. Missing pieces, or edge pieces, though I don't think they're missing. I'm pretty sure they're in the boxes. For a while I was very worried that I was missing more pieces, but I'm simply just not all that good at sorting. At first I'm too eager and then I think I get a little bored because it was so many pieces. I mean, 3,000 of them. And I've touched every single one, and I'm sure a couple of the edge pieces, hopefully four, ended up in these two boxes. So the beginning has begun, I guess, and now it's just the rest left, which is a lot of pieces. Thankfully, I very much enjoyed this. I mean, if I didn't enjoy a puzzle, I wouldn't have been doing the puzzle after all, or anyway. Wow, English is so hard sometimes. This is probably, possibly, the most chaotic, chaotic way I have ever put together a puzzle. I sorted out pieces that I thought would fit together and I have other pieces in there. And then I just put them all out. So they basically filled the whole frame and now I'm putting things together and I mean I am making progress. It's taking a really really long time, but progress is being made all over the place and I mean I've come to realize that puzzles can be put together in many different ways or in one way you put it all together, but in so many different ways to do that one way. Am I making sense? It made sense in my head. But, I mean, you found some, find some pieces and then you put it together if they fit. And then you just sit and stare because there is so much to choose from. I mean, look at this. It's 
highly enjoyable even though it's taking longer than if I done my like my regular thing just first find all those pieces and then all those and then all those instead just here's a bunch of pieces that might probably fit together highly enjoyable can recommend though maybe not start with a 3000 piece puzzle in this way like I'm doing but you know Gotta start somewhere! <laughs> Continuously making progress. Can you imagine it was filled with... Oh wait, you just saw that, didn't you? But... It put together so much! Look, it's starting to look like a picture! And I found two of the edge pieces, I'm still missing two. One there... And one up there. And I have some pieces here that I have not been able to figure out, but I'm pretty sure they all go in, well, this space, somewhere. And now, I only have two boxes. I'm gonna start with the one on top, the smallest one. It'll consist of mostly this corner, as far as I know. The corner is almost done. The rest, however, not so much. I only have one box left of pieces and I couldn't put things on both sides here. The ones that I picked out but didn't quite get to fit right away. And I've come to realize I like it when I spread the pieces out like that. It makes it easier to find pieces, you know, compared to this because it's a lot of pieces here i've come to realize that i like spreading out a lot of pieces and then putting them together and yeah i know there are boxes in the way but i am getting a lot done on my puzzle i mean i have this massive space here that is not done i say massive because it is under the boxes, a lot of it is done, or under those two boxes, a lot is done. Not so much under that one. And I have that corner left. But I'm not sure how many days it has taken me so far, but yeah. It's a lot of days. In my defense, it's 3,000 pieces, so it's going to take a lot of time. This is all I have left of the very, very big puzzle. 3,000 pieces. But this is what I have left. I've not given a lot of updates because do you want them? I don't know. But it's mostly up here. It's very dark and it's hard and some are lighter colored, but it's all like it all seems like a jumbled mess but that is the last part there is one really annoying thing with this puzzle because the pieces oh of course on camera but the pieces generally don't lock together so if I put them together like that I generally end up having to move one piece at a time, maybe two, which is really annoying. And I mean, it's a Ravensburger puzzle and I kind of, I don't know, expected a little more. When it came to the quality, I am done, finally. Come to realize 3,000 pieces is too much. I love the picture. There are so many details, which also made it so hard in certain places, like this part, really hard. It did not stick together very well, like it struggles with this, so there is that. I like it, but at the end I was kind of like, I just want to get it done, because it's too big. Which is kind of weird, because I love it. But I was also sick of it at the end, so there was that. But I really like it. 
even though it felt like I was just sick of it at the end and I just wanted it to be done, <laughs> well, guess what? I'm now officially done. And all the pieces were here, which is great, which is part of the reason I was doing this right now, because I want to make sure all the pieces are here. So now I will put it in plastic bags, put it in the box, and put it with the rest of my puzzles that I have done and have put in plastic bags. And can you see how hard it is to see some of the things when I put the camera like this? That is how I occasionally struggle with doing the puzzle because uh, the lighting is not always easy. But I finished. I decided to kind of divide it into three and put it in big plastic bags. I don't have any like Ziploc bags that are big enough, so I just tie them up basically. Uh, and I find that these bags, and yes, I use new and clean ones when I do this. Uh, I find these, this size of bag fits very well. Put them in three bags and that's it. Uh, the bags are six liters. And I totally wish I had six Ziploc zip lock bags. Wow, that's a hard word. Uh, yeah, that's it ready to be put away.